Okay, good evening. This is Debbie Davis. This is September 10th, 2024. Okay, so, okay, so just an update. Okay, so, um, my friend John, um, did, re did actually get, um, a phone call back from the one, um, the second place we went to, uh, where we were waiting um, to get some kind of a scan done. Um, it was a uh, orthopedic urgent care in Edina, I believe. Um, and he finally had got a call back. Um, I think they were waiting for insurance approval or something like that. But, uh, <clears throat> but the reason why we went, to, the reason why he was wanting to go to this urgent care in Edina or the North Memorial is because they um, have something called a Tesla scan. It's like um, it's an updated MRI scan where it's more detailed now. It's called a Tesla scanner. So I don't know if uh, if people if anybody has some kind of back or back injuries or <clears throat> um, anything like that. Um, they have an updated scanner now at certain hospitals called called a Tesla scanner and it's um, just more and more advanced and so that's the reason why we were waiting for all those hours at that one hospital because they had one of those scanners and then he was never seen he was never seen and it kept you know it was just one excuse after another at North Memorial but um, he did end up getting a call back today I guess saying that 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 other place we went to that was an uh, orthopedic urgent care place had finally got back to him and said they're going to schedule some kind of a, a scan next week. Um, so, um, <clears throat> so he's trying to, you know, so you can figure out what's going on exactly. Um, and uh, so, but, um, but I did find a law um, about that, about, you know, if you're in, in an urgent care for too long, um, there is an actual law that, that talks about that. Um, there, there is an, it is an actual crime to not see somebody, uh, for all those hours, um, for no reason. I mean, there, there are actual crimes for that type of thing and organizations for when, when you make somebody wait for too long at an urgent care and make make their symptoms worse or exasperate the situation, you know, that is an actual crime. Okay. And, um, well, it's, plus it's called, plus it's called medical negligence. And plus it's like a violation of your, of your Hippocratical oath that you take. Um, okay. So here, here, I'll just, but then I wanted to get on to something else I want to talk about tonight. But, um, so the Hippocratical oath that doctors take, Okay, um, so the Hippocratical Oath that all doctors take when they become, uh, when they get their license, it says, it's it's the Hippocratical Oath that they all have to sign. It's kind of, you know, every, like police officers have an oath that they have to sign. Um, I had, had an oath as a military, uh, in the military, that I would um, de protect and defend the Constitution, and that's what I try to do. And then when I, that's why I can't believe I've been so terrorized all these years when all I was doing was protecting and defending the Constitution but I I because I took that oath as a military person in the military I had to sign that oath okay so I mean why are you coming after me all these years later when that was just my oath I had to take see we're, we're you know these people that are doing this to all of us are committing treason and that that's what my my videos are, are about is that I'm exposing these people who are actually um, committing treason against the people that took an oath and are trying to do the right thing. We have uh, CIA and Masons that are coming after us trying to say that somehow we're, we're wrong for just doing the right thing. Okay, and so, we, and so it's the CIA and the Masons that are always coming after me. Okay, so if, so if you have somebody in your in your family that's Masons, 
um, you know, and they go to these secret meetings or whatever. Oh, this is what they're this is what they're doing. They're targeting totally innocent people that just stand up for their constitution or constitutional rights, and then they uh, and uh, because they're so uh, apparently. Uh, so apparently the Masons take their orders from the Kazarian Mafia. The Kazarian Mafia is a satanic organization. Okay, so they're they're all Satanists and they take their organization, they take their orders from the Kazarian Mafia, and it, it's definitely to go after the Christians and to the whistleblowers and everybody, and everybody. And the Masons just take their orders from them, and you know. They think it's cool in the beginning, I'm sure, you know, get cool jobs and, you know, they're in a, a boys club or whatever, um, you know, but you take these oaths to a satanic organization and you're committing um, crimes against humanity and treason against the American public and you're going to get in trouble for that. You know, you don't think about that at first, but, you know, we're, we're, we're hip to it now, believe me, but the... Um, the, the doctor's oath that they take is, um, it says, uh, it's a hip hippocratical oath. It says, I will not hurt my fellow or or put a knife to his flesh or if I don't know or give him a herb to soothe his pain. Okay. Um, I will do no harm or injustice to them. Okay. That's the hypocritical oath. That they were, um, they were all, they all signed when they became uh, doctors. Okay, so do no harm. It's ancient Greek physician Hippocrates. Okay, so you have to, you know, basically he was um, basically creating some kind of moral code for doctors because you know there was apparently you know if it, if just because you passed the medical exam if you were some kind of psychopath. Uh, you know, you can't just, you know, be a doctor. So basically, he was passing some kind of moral code back then, which clearly needs to be, uh, needs, needs to still be the case. There needs to be some kind of moral code. Um, so, uh, so anyway, he did finally get, um, he has a s scan that he's going to get done, and then hopefully he'll figure out what's going on, but um, I just, I couldn't believe like how many places, you know, and they were just, just openly trying to just blow us off anyway. Okay. So, and then the other thing that happened, uh, to me today, um, is that I, I, yesterday I got, a, um, I got it in the mail. I got something from this, uh, Missouri and Kramer in Plymouth. Okay. Uh, Missouri and Kramer collection company in Plymouth okay okay so they're trying to say all of a sudden I get this out of nowhere uh, you know and they're gonna oh and they're gonna try to garnish my wages over it over this supposed collection that I owe oh boy okay so this is like a I'm kind you know Enclosed, please find a garnishment exemption notice and notice of intent to levy or garnish earnings. I'm sorry, my earnings are just the VA right now. That's a federal money. Um, I'm not really working right now. I'm on unemployment. So exactly what earnings are you trying to, you know, because I'm, I'm not really, you know, I just get my VA money. That's federal money. So I, you know, garnish my earnings. What earnings? Uh, there's, I'm on unemployment. Are you going to guard? I mean, I mean, these people are crazy. Like what earnings? Okay. Are, are you going to try to garnish my federal disability money or what exactly are you talking about here? Okay. Um, oh boy. I, I apparently I'm in trouble. Apparently I, I'm in trouble again. You know, that's, that's, you know, trouble's my middle, middle name. Uh, balance. Oh gosh. I, apparently I got this balance from this. Barclays Midline Credit Management. Okay. Oh boy. I, I'm a I, you know I, I'm a real criminal now again. Apparently I'm I've been a criminal since I just reported that crime at a military base. Boy, I all of a sudden become this like really went renowned like criminal. You know, and everybody's you know. Okay, so I I was never a criminal before that. You know.
I don't know how that happened. So anyway, uh, so this is Midland Credit. Um, I um, so I went over there today, and um, they're in. They're not too far away from me, and I went over in there and I said, "Look, um, this Barclays um, credit card company. Um, I paid them. Uh, okay, so I originally I bought a computer, and I think and um, had like a fifteen hundred dollar balance from the computer that I bought, something like that, and and then I kept paying it off, literally from two thousand thirteen." to 2018 or 19 I was paying off monthly on this credit card and I noticed uh, the the balance literally never went down and then I got this one um, and then I got uh, and then it, the interest rate on um, their statements they kept sending me the interest rate kept going up and up and up and up one of them said 500% interest rate Okay, we are talking about Barclays Bank account. One of the statements that I received back in 2013 or 14 said that the interest rate had had now been increased to 500%. Okay, I'm I'm not joking. I remember this and then and so um and then and then when I I said, "Look, sir, I said I paid on this credit card for years and the interest rate never went down. It went it kept going up and up and up and up." And he, um, and then I, I, so I talked to this guy today at the office and, um, and I said, I said, this interest rate never, go, never went down and I could, there's no way I could pay it off. They kept, the interest rate kept going up and up and up. And he said, oh, well, there's a variable interest rate. And this, this office is like, um, they got these glass doors and glass. You can't even talk to a receptionist. Everything is by phone. So you got to go in there and you got to call by phone, you know, I mean, this is a joke. Like they, they know they're doing, they're doing dirty, you know, I got the pictures right here. They know they're doing dirty. They got the, uh, the glass where you can't even talk to a receptionist or anything. Um, you got to pick up the phone just to talk to somebody. I'll show you right here. Yeah, this is um, right here. Due to client requirements, door is remain locked. For assistance, please pick up the phone. Okay, so they got like, okay, so you got the sign on the door and they got all this glass. So you can't even go and, and you can't even speak to the receptionist There's, is behind glass and all the employees are behind glass. Uh, you know, okay. It's uh. And so you got to go there and pick up a phone like you're in a prison or something like talk to talk to a prisoner uh yeah i'm here to talk to an agent you know about this debt you know your your false debt you know oh is that why you got the all the glass there because you're trying to protect yourself from your false charges i think so i mean this is a joke agency and um so uh i said sir i said i paid off this I said, this isn't a, a legitimate, I, don't I have a right to, what is my right to be able to dispute this charge? Because this isn't a legitimate charge. They, this, this company has had like Barclays credit card company out of Delaware. They've had like 900 complaints against them online. And I, I showed them and I said, look, they have had all kinds of complaints online about their, um, they keep in, raising the interest rates raising the interest rates and they they say they keep saying well it's variable interest rate i'm sorry you you know this is fraud you know i there's no way of ever paying down some of these credit cards and some of these debt collectors because they keep saying oh variable interest rate and they're working with the cia and they're working with um the police and and the deep state and they will make sure that you never pay these things off Okay, this is a fraud. This is a, a, a these are fraudulent agencies. Half of these half of these collection companies are fraud, and um, so the, and then they'll find ways to try to take just take your money, take your money. Okay, so I am um, so then um, 
then my friend uh, reminded me. Then um, I so Midland Credit Company. Um, I was reminded that by this friend of mine that Midland Credit Company that was one of the ones Midland and Barclays. I don't even know what Midland says that I owe. Um, so I was reminded that Midland Credit Company was already sued by the um, the Minnesota Attorney General's office in 2015. Okay, Minnesota, our Minnesota Attorney General already sued this particular collection company, um, Midland Credit. Who? Um, so what they do? Okay, so these co collection companies, what they do is they um, they buy off. Um, they buy off paid debt for pennies on the dollar. Okay, so I, I'm just going to read this whole thing. Uh, for more than a year, Andrew Martin tried to convince this, this Midland credit company that they had the wrong guy. Um, they tried to say that he owed $6,000. Okay, Martin sent the company a certified letter saying you stay you have the wrong person. I don't owe this debt. I, I don't I'm not the person you're looking for. He he figured out that the Andrew Martin that Midland was after actually lives in Anoka County and he lives in Ramsey County. So they had the wrong person and he wrote a certified letter to them but they ignored it and they still kept coming after him. Martin was among um, many wrongly targeted consumers um, highlighted by the Minnesota Attorney General's office, Lori Swanson, announcing a settlement with Midland, which, which the state sued, sued this collection company in 2015. It includes a number of new legal requirements for Midland. Um, Swanson said Midland is one of the highest volume filers of lawsuits in the state with some 15,000 filed since 2008. Midland will also pay a fine of $500,000 to the state. Um, she's trying. She said the lawsuit was trying to build respect for the legal system. Um, this, this, this lady was a good attorney general, this Lori Swanson. Okay, um, and now we have this Keith Ellison guy who hasn't done anything for anybody. He's a joke. He's part of the Democrats here. We got these Democrats that have infiltrated all these public offices in Minnesota. And Minnesota used to be, um, you know, one of the better, way better states, you know, Republicans that, you know, I don't know. We just like, you know, we have good, like, good Midwest moral, you know, um, moral ethics, you know, here. I mean, it's cold in the winter, but, you know. I don't know. It just you know we always have been known for our uh, our work our work ethics and our um, we have a really great um, economy here. I mean because people like to work. You know I mean you know, but uh, and I'm I'm from here originally. I never had any problem getting work, but now I'm having problems getting work since I've been on this targeted list. But I mean I've worked. So there's never been like hardly a day I've ever not worked since I was 16 years old. I mean, I, I don't, you know, I'm just, I have a very good work ethic. Um, so it says Midland's collection efforts eventually took a toll. And he said, you begin to fixate it on it. He said at a news conference Wednesday at state Capitol, um, he, it begins to affect your home life. He said, you know, this isn't even my debt. You're asking me to pay a $6,000 debt and you have no ability to prove it's even mine. So they targeted this guy named Andrew Martin for a $6,000 debt that wasn't even his. It was in somebody else's name. Okay, so this is how dirty the collection companies are. You have to be very careful of any collection company. Okay, Midland is a debt buyer that purchases old charged off debt from banks and credit card companies for pennies on the dollar. And then they try to collect on it. Um, there is a parent company that works with them out of San Diego named Encore Capital Group Incorporated. Midland has paid more than $2.1 billion for 40 billion accounts that represent debts of about $66.4 billion, uh, Swanson said. 
Swanson's lawsuit was the first in the country against a debt collector for filing robo-signed affidavits in court. Okay, so they're not even signed affidavits. They're robo-signed. Robo-signed affidavits. Robotic-signed affidavits. I mean, this is like, this is like, for real? You got robots signing the affidavits. Okay, really? Okay, this is how dirty the collection companies are. So I'm just, you know, warning people of these collection companies because they... Um, so what's happening, what happened with Midland is they got caught for, um, collecting on, uh, tons of debts. Almost all of their debts were actually debts that were actually paid off completely. Um, and they were double charging, trying to double charge that same person on the debt that they actually paid off. And then they made the person like try to come up with a bank statement or some kind of proof that you paid it off. You know, um, and sometimes you can't get all your bank statements or whatever, you know. Um, so they they are basically predators. They're predators trying to pawn you, um, you know, on, you know, oh, you got to prove to us that you paid this off. No, um, what you're doing is illegal. These credit card, you know, what you're doing is illegal. You're trying to, you purchase these debts in order to commit fraud against us and need to be sued again is what you need to do and you're you're oh and on top of it you're doing robo signed affidavits in in court to support your claims oh boy yeah you're yeah you're you're totally oh of course what you're doing is totally legal right against our you know like we have these debts that you supposedly say we owe but we don't get to to even defend ourselves we don't even get to contact you. We got to go through the glass. Uh, oh, you got you're 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 behind the glass, and we're just like the pawns that you pawn on, you know, trying to say these that we owe you this money, and you're like the judges and the jury there behind the glass. Is that it? You know? Oh boy. Um, Midland employees admitted in sworn state sworn testimony for Swanson case against the company that they had signed up to. 400 affidavits per day without reading them or without consent of their contents and without verifying their accuracy. They don't even verify the accuracy of any of their debts. They just start calling you and harassing you. Okay? This is what Midland Companies does and this is what this company um, Messler did to me. They started just um, uh, contacting me saying, oh boy, uh, you're you're in trouble now, boy. You owe this money. Didn't even give me any chance to dispute it at all, uh, or give me a chance in court, or give me a chance to say anything. They're they're just trying to garnish my wages. Oh, really? That's not legal. That's not legal. Okay. Um, Midland denied. Oh, they deny any wrongdoing as alleged by the Swanson lawsuit. But the company, by the Swanson lawsuit, but the company agreed to a number of changes in the process. It follows. They include uh, providing individuals with validation of the debt, including the original's creditor name and the last four digits of the original account number. Oh boy, at least you got to do that. Oh, at least you got to, you know, because you went, tried to go after the wrong person for the debt. Which is, I mean, really, like, you're the criminals now. You are the criminals. And um, so, um, and then they, um, so they're trying to garnish at my wages right now and try, try to take money out of my bank for a debt that I don't even get to dispute. Boy, uh, you know, I, I'm telling you, the credit card agents, the, the, the debt agencies, these debt collectors are all working with the CIA. So... Just so you know, the debt collectors are working with the CIA, who is part of, um, they have access to everybody's bank account through this Mossad, these Mossad software programs that I've talked about. It's the Pegasus and um, the, uh, and the other one, um, Promise. Yeah, so the CIA and the credit card companies, I, I, I mean the um, debt collector companies, and the Mossad, and they then they try to say, 
uh, well, it's legitimate. They try to, you know, say it's legitimate in some way. Um, but these, this one, Barclays credit card, um, I mean, literally, the the interest rate went up to 500%. Uh, I mean, I literally was paying on this thing for four or five years, and it just kept going up and up and up. The balance never went down, ever. The interest rate just kept it going up and up and up every statement. That's This is a complete, they're complete fraudulent uh, collection companies that are working with the CIA um, and these uh, these debt collectors and um, they are committing fraud against you don't I mean I, so that's why I'm doing this I don't you know don't you 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 have to fight them you have to try to figure out how we have to figure out how to fight them Midland um, let's see oh okay then the uh, Right at the end here, K Yang, another consumer targeted by Midland, um, they took uh, money out of her bank account. Nine thousand dollars was taken out of her bank account. Okay, nine thousand dollars was taken out of her bank account. It wasn't even the right person. Okay, it wasn't even the right person. Then she had to hire an attorney and spend an additional two thousand dollars in legal fees just to get her money back. This is what this these people are doing. Midland Credit and this new Messler law firm. Okay, they'll hack your bank account and then you got to then you got to hire an attorney to fight it. And then who knows if you're even going to get the money back because they're all in cahoots. They all work for the for the bar bar association. Okay, they're all in cahoots. The attorneys, the judges, they all work for the bar association so they all work for the same organization and it's all a money-making scam okay she said oh I'm really angry yeah I would be too okay so you know she does she just said I wouldn't even normally say anything but I just don't want this to the same thing to happen to someone else um, so Lori Swanson said uh, uh, Midland was tar, you know, was one of the companies that is an issue in the state, but there is an overall industry problem with these um, credit collection agencies. Yes, and I agree. Um, the they purchase old, um, old debts. They're not buying proof. They're not even buying proof that the debts are real, and this leads to problems with collections. Okay. So this is what we're dealing with is that these some of these collection companies are like third car party companies. They don't even have proof or validation that these debts are even real. And they're working with the CIA and they're trying to illegally um, take money out of your account and hack your account. So you have to go in there, uh, go to these collection companies or contact them immediately and say, Look, I know about this Lori Swanson lawsuit in 2015 where you were held accountable for fraud. Okay? They were sued. They were sued in a Minnesota court by the Attorney General for fraud. These collection companies. Okay? They were sued in 2015 and they won. They won the lawsuit. Okay? And they were proven wrong, completely wrong, and they were sued and had to pay a $500,000 fine, okay? And this is happening all over this, the country. Okay, this attorney general that we used to have actually was a good attorney general and tried to do her job. Okay, now we have this Keith Ellison, who's a Democrat, who's in cahoots with Tim Walls, our Democrat, and many other Democrats, and Tim Walls, oh boy, Tim Walls uh, is uh, Kam Kamala Harris's uh, vice president pick. And, um, I mean, boy, is he, uh, you know, a piece of work right there. He's in cahoots with all these Democrats and all these people trying to do this to me. So, you know, clearly, you know, he's part of the problem. So, okay. So, I wanted to do this uh, video today about these collection companies because never nobody's ever done a video about these people. They are in cahoots with the police the FBI, you know, it's all, 
they're all trying to make take our money. I mean, I can't I can't tell you like how many when I was getting um, pulled over all the time by the police, um, I would get arrested and wrongfully charged for a false crime. And I never to this day have ever gotten any of my bail money back where um, where I've actually proven that they le- illegitimately, um, you know, arrested me. And I had to spend, you know, a night or two in jail and then bail myself out. And I never got that bail money back. It was $800 or more every time. And this is about $5,000 that the jail owes me. Okay, so these are all like fraud fraudulent agencies trying to collect and and get all of our money all the time like I've, I've lost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars by my own government of uh, my own government fraud so I just wanted to uh, you know tell this to other people if they're experiencing the same thing